Thank you very much. So, as you know, uh, late last night we got back from Michigan. We went to Wisconsin and Michigan yesterday. Uh, we had tremendous rallies, sold out rallies. They were packed, and the enthusiasm has never been better. So that was a great thing, and it was nice to be able to campaign one day without being in this ridiculous show trial, Biden trial, I call it. But it's uh, it was quite a day yesterday, and many of you were there. And I appreciate your being there. I thought the coverage was very fair. Uh, the economy, people are asking me about the economy. It's doing terribly, and interest rates are obviously not going to be able to be reduced prior to the election because inflation is roaring back. Uh, gasoline's way up, other things are way up, and it's roaring back like they are very surprised. I'm not surprised, but they're surprised. I guess they're surprised. That's what they say anyway. So uh, that's uh, on the economy. It looks uh, pretty bleak for interest rates, and uh, this, I don't think there's any way they can cut them because inflation is very uh, — inflation, remember, is a country buster. When you have inflation, that breaks countries. I mean, literally breaks countries, and we can't take that chance. So we'll see what they do, but uh, it was sort of announced yesterday they can't do much with the interest rates. They'll have to remain very high, and it's very unfortunate. We had low interest rates. They have high interest rates. Uh, that's uh, very unfortunate. When you compare my economy to this economy, not even a contest. We had the greatest economy in history, and now we have sort of a lousy economy, but the problem with the economy is the inflation. And anything you made, you more than gave back. We call it a 50 percent tax. It's a Biden tax. It's called an inflationary tax. And it's about 50 percent. And that's what it is, whether you like it or not. And it's too bad. Uh, we're down at the trial now getting ready to spend another day in the courthouse, which is bogus trial that every leading authority on law says is, should never have been brought, that Alvin Bragg didn't want to bring it until the election happened and then he brought it. You just do know that this case could have been brought eight years ago. Could have been brought eight years ago. Instead, they wait and wait and wait. They know it's not a good case. And now it's turned out to be they've lost every, I mean, they have no case. They have no case. But we have a very uh, conflicted judge, unfortunately, and uh, so you never know. But other than that, there's no case, and it should have never been brought. But if it was going to be brought, it should have been brought eight years ago. You know, we're talking about two, 2015, 2016. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And they wait till I announce, and then they start their action, and then they wait till prime time, Super Tuesday. It all started Super Tuesday, the biggest day which we won every single thing. I mean, Super Tuesday was a big day for me, but that's when it all really came into being. And who starts a case right smack in the middle of somebody's elections? It should be illegal because it's election interference. So we're going to go in right now, and uh, I, I will comment just quickly on the colleges and universities. It's a shame. I'm so proud of the New York's finest. Uh, they're great. They're great people, too. I know so many of them. They're incredible. They did a job at Columbia. And likewise, in uh, Los Angeles, they did a really good job at UCLA. It was uh, very much embedded. And just so you understand, this is the radical left. This is a movement from the left, not from the right. The right is not your problem. Despite what like, law enforcement likes to say, the FBI director said that he worries about the right. Now, don't worry about the right. The right's fine. Worry about the left, because this is a movement from the left. These are radical left lunatics. And they got to be stopped now, because it's going to go on and on, and it's going to get worse and worse. And, you know, they take over countries, okay? And we're not letting them take over the USA. We're not letting the radical left morons take over this country. You can't let that happen. And the law enforcement and the people at DOJ, instead of going after Donald Trump, they ought to look at what's happening in their own offices, because you're loaded up with radical left people that want this country to fail. And we're not going to let this country fail. Thank you very much.